what is alv ida we just understood let me read it out over here also a bap list we are with the integrated data access so alv ida is nothing but it's a abap list viewer as we know but with integrated data access just focus on the name if you just focus on the name your answer you will get your answer right the data access is integrated with the database layer okay integrated data access the sale with technique leverage the power of in memory database it optimally use the code push down flavor of s4 hana right watch out the video over here the same video here also i put it okay what's the context why we are supposed to learn alv ida why the alv ida was required say with s4 hana large amount of data can be processed so if you want to process the large amount of data and you want to get those data to be displayed using the alv ida then then you know then it's very uh, performance effective it's very fast we can leverage the power of hana right so with s4 hana large amount of data can be processed and can be displayed on the front end screen using the alv ida so this is the sap gui technology the gui the normal gui as we used to which we used to earlier right now it is also we using the sap gui okay we have ui5 of fury front end technology to handle the large amount of data on front end using pagination technique right so see here so if you have the s4 hana and if you want to display the large amount of that data you have the ui5 fury front end technology to handle the large amount of data on front end using the pagination technique but but at sap gui level we also require some technology which can handle large amount of data being displayed quickly with awesome user experience right so the front end technology right front end technology ui5 and fury that's fine there we can use the cds we can use the at the rate odata.publish call and true in order to create the O data services and consume at the UI5 and Fury level. But suppose you want to display at SAP GUI level. Okay. But if you want to display at SAP GUI level, right? But if you want to display at the SAP GUI level, those data in some very beautiful way. You know that ALV is so attractive, so much uh, having the uh, good. Uh, uh tools over there in order to sorting grouping filtering right dragging and dropping so a kind of excel experience it provides and sometimes like it is having the colorful experience also so alv looks really very beautiful right so at sap gui label we also require some technology which can handle large amount of data being displayed quickly with awesome user experience and that's where the alv idea comes into picture right so sorting grouping and filtering is very effective in alv idea right so here maybe i can write one point so that's where alv idea comes into picture right so this is one point right at the sap gui level you require some beautiful tool which can which can display the data nicely over there and that and that's where the birth of alv ida is there sorting grouping and filtering is also very effectively managed at the alv ida right so this is this is the things over there okay now here uh here i have taken this screenshot from the sap standard documentation let us see what it is writing what sap is writing about the alv idea if the current system landscape is not set up on an in memory database okay so the question over here is your interviewer is asking suppose this alv ida is possible on non hana database okay 
for ALV high DA for ALV this ALV ID is perfectly fine for HANA database, but is it also good for non HANA database? Is it also good for non HANA database? This is the question. So for non HANA database, it is not that much good. Okay, but generally it's okay. Perfect. We can use over there. Okay, so let's try to understand from this what SAP is telling. If the current system landscape is not set up on an in-memory database, okay, means if it is, so our HANA database, so generally when uh, in our SAP world, whenever we talk about the in-memory database, that is nothing but our HANA database as of now. Maybe in Oracle, Sybase, IBM will come with their own in-memory database, right? They all are working on the in-memory database. All the organizations are working in the in memory database so might be in future if the customer want to take the uh, uh, want to take another in memory database maybe that possibility will be also there right so that's why they are writing over here if the current system landscape is not set up on an in memory database so here just understand if it is not set up on the hana database right if it is there on the oracle sybase informix and all other non hana database then it is possible to use ALV with IDA to display tables. Then also you can use ALV with IDA to display tables. However, the considerable performance advantages are they not achieved for large quantity of data, right? You can see here, if you have a small amount of data, less than 100,000. If you have a small amount of data, less than 100, thousand data records in that case that's fine it's telling that performance advantage is, there is no issue related with performance but if you have more data than one lakh records means hundred thousand records then maybe you will feel some lag if it is not the hana db right so what is the meaning of this note it supports the non hana db as well that's fine we can use but performance need to be compromised in case of more than one lakh records. Some performance lag will be there and that need to be compromised for non hana database. That's the only thing over here. Okay, so uh, this is for the ALV IDA and uh, uh, I got some here ping in the chat box here, yes, some same like CDS as it is supported by can't get all functionality as we can get in HANA DB. Okay, fine. So this is the uh, things over here. Now for ALV IDA, you know, I, I would like to go and create one program and just display, uh, you know, just display the record. It's very easy. Just you'll have to, you know, directly you can get the data from table and display directly one line code you have to write in AC38, you know, and if you want to just display the table record, you can directly put their table in the method parameter of the LVID class, and you'll be able to display the, you know, complete set of records from the table. So very easy to use, but, you know, if you go, just go once through that video, you'll be having the better understanding. 